In this screencast I'll show you how to add error bars and trend lines to a plot in Excel. So in order to add error bars, click on the chart, click layout and then click on the error bars button here. If we click on more error bar options, we can then specify a custom values, the temperature, we have values here. Click OK, close this now. And it's also given us horizontal error bars as well as vertical. We don't require those, so we can just delete them. And then for the pressure, we can do the same. So we can just highlight the error values for pressure. Click OK, close this. Again, it's given us the horizontal error bars. We can delete those. And now we can see we've got error bars for both temperature and pressure. And if we format the axis here, we can actually neaten this up by saying that the number is going to have zero decimal places. And for the axis values, we'll have some fixed values, but perhaps we'll go to 330 here and then we're kind of separating out the two data series to make it a little bit more easy to see. To add a trend line we click on the data series and then we right click add trend line. For this one we'll have a linear trend line, we'll display the equation, we'll display the R squared value and there we have the trend line for the temperature data. For the pressure data we can do the same thing. So we will right click on the data series, click add trend line. This time we'll go for a polynomial. Again we'll display the equation and the R squared value. And the equation and the R squared value are displayed and we also get the trend line going through the data points. Overall that is how you can add error bars and trend lines to your plot in Excel.